Hi there, welcome to my gallery and thank you so much for considering my artwork for your home or your office. Um, I want to take a few minutes now to answer some of the most common questions that I get from um, people like you who are deciding on what the perfect art for their space is, is whether it's size, the perfect finish, um, or any other questions that you might have. I'm hoping that I get to answer them um, during the course of this quick video, so stick with me. Okay, so the first thing we have to talk about is framed versus acrylic flow. Framed should be pretty self-explanatory, but the acrylic flow might have you confused a little bit. Um, it's actually pretty simple. Um, acrylic flow just means that you don't need to get it framed. It sits on the wall um, just as is, um, and then the, whether, the question whether you not want it framed really comes down to your personal taste and personal choice. Um, the acrylic floats are pretty contemporary and modern looking, so that might work really well with your interior design style, um, or it might not, and you might be looking for something a little bit more traditional, um, classic, more substantial. In that case, the frame piece might be better for you, but whatever you choose, um, you will get my, my pieces of art um, as um, face mounted to acrylic, and what that means is because people ask me all the time, are your photos printed on glass? No, they're not. They are printed on museum quality photographic paper, um, but then they get face mounted to an eighth of an inch of acrylic. And this acrylic, called true life acrylic, makes all the difference. It's really aptly named actually, because the image comes to life in front of your eyes because it is face mounted to acrylic. It gets more depth. It gets greater details, the colors just pop a little bit more, and the whole image just gets this three-dimensional feel. And so when you stand in front of the piece of art, when you have it hanging on your wall, it looks like you're looking out the window. Okay, let's talk about these frames for a minute. Because the first thing that I should mention to you is um, the size of the artwork that you're looking at is just the size of the artwork. It does not include the frame. So when you're looking at a piece that's 30 by 45 inches, that is just the acrylic piece. And then you have to add, if you're looking at the frames, six and a half inches on each side, four inches for the frame, two and a half inches um, for the hand wrap linen liner. And, um, in a second, I will talk a little bit more about deciding on the perfect size and I can help you with that, so don't fret. But just know that if you're looking at a piece of art and you want it framed, um, the final product, the final piece will be bigger than just the size of artwork that you're seeing. Um, I hope that makes sense. Um, just talking a little bit about these frames, they are all handmade by Italian uh, artisans. Um, they're all hand produced individually for it and custom made for your piece of art that you that you choose um, and then you get the um, two and a half inch linen liner that's hand wrapped so it really adds a whole other level of sophistication to your final product. Okay, so let's talk about the size of the artwork for a second. If I have you all worried there with my little math equation that I just did there with size of the artwork plus the frame, don't worry. Um, this process can be really simple, deciding what size artwork works best for your space. Rather than trying to tape off your, your wall um, or trying to measure it, um, let's make this easier. Um, all you need to do is tape a piece of letter-sized paper to the wall that you're thinking of hanging the artwork on. Snap a photo on your phone and email it to me at Lars at LarsGazingFineArt.com. Email address right here. Um, I can do what's called a um, true to size digital mockup. So you tell me the sizes that you're deciding between and whether you want it framed or not framed. We can also play around with different options. Um, I can create as many uh, of these mockups as um, as you need until you feel completely comfortable that we uh, found just the right size. These mockups are, like I said, they are true to size, so you will basically see right there on your screen what the artwork will ultimately look like on your wall and you can feel confident uh, about your, your purchase. I do have 
what's called um, the no worry guarantee that I offer. So that includes 90 day no questions asked um, returns um, because I mean, I'm a small business and um, I can't afford angry customers or disappointed customers um, to begin with. But I also, that's not the kind of business that I want to run. I want you to feel really confident and really excited about your art purchase. And then once the day comes when it's actually there, I want you to hang it on your wall and be blown away and not be disappointed. Okay, that's another pretty common question that I get, and the answer is it's actually really easy to install these pieces, especially these, these acrylic floats. All you do is put two screws in the wall, and, it, and the pieces have the hanging hardware attached to the back already, and then it just sits on these two screws, and it sits sturdily and securely. Um, even these, um, these um, frame pieces, um, they will come with all the hardware that you need. They might, there might be three or four screws, um, to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere but all of these are sturdy but they are not heavy they look heavy but they are designed to um, be easily installed um, by anyone really yes i do offer financing actually i work with a company called art money and the process is super simple it's 10 payments over 10 months there's no interest fees there's no other fees hidden either, so the price that you see on the artwork, that's the price that you're going to pay. The application usually takes a couple minutes, um, you usually get approved right on the spot, and then uh, you can proceed with your artwork purchase. If you are planning on taking me up on, on this financing offer, um, reach out to me, send me an email at Lars at LarsGazingFineArt.com. So that question always makes me, makes me smile a little bit because the answer is yes, I do edit my, my photos. Um, every digital photograph that you see that's, get, that's getting used in a, in a commercial or any type of um, high-end setting will have been finished in post-processing. That's just the nature of, of, the, of the deal here. But I don't think that that's where a lot of these questions come from. Like, these days, usually in the age of social media, unfortunately, we live at a time where people push things way past um, what, um, what reality is. And I'm not here to throw shade on anyone. If that's what, what people want to do, if that's how they express themselves, I have no problem with that whatsoever. But I am here to tell you that the way that I post-process my images and f finish them for production is that I take the file that I get out of the camera and basically bring it back to um, what I saw. Um, so digital cameras these days are getting really, really good at capturing the scene just the way it was. They've made giant advances over the last few years and they will probably make giant advances in the next few years still. But they, I firmly believe that they will never get to 100%. It will never mimic the human eye. The human eye is just too incredible a, a, um, an organ. And um, I have trained my eye for a long time, doing this a long time, um, to find these scenes. I spend a lot of time in the field, and so once I see a scene, um, I actually, during the process of making the image, I usually make notes in my phone too, like how did this, how did this make me feel? What drew me to the scene in the first place? And those are the things that I, um, when I bring the image back home into my office and pull it up on the computer in Photoshop to finish it off, those are the things that I look back at. Every artwork that you purchase gets placed to production within 24 hours, um, that's a promise. Um, my lead time at, at that point is usually four to six weeks. I work with a production uh, facility in Colorado. I've worked with them for years. They know me really well. Um, we work to, together really closely. But producing these pieces of art is an intricate and um, time-consuming process. There's a lot of steps and a lot of personal attention that goes into producing these. And so it just takes a little bit of time. So I ask you to be patient, four to six weeks. We usually try to make it more at four than six weeks, um, but we'd like to give you that, um, that time window. 
If you need your artwork faster, I do offer rush production and rush shipping um, at um, increased costs. Um, if that's something that you're interested in, uh, send me an email before you purchase your art um, because this is subject to availability uh, and I don't always have control over that. If for any reason the rush option isn't available to you or we can't make that happen, what I can always do is I can issue a personalized gift certificate. So if you're thinking of, of buying a gift but man, maybe you put it off a little bit too long, I know how that goes. Um, then I can send you a, um, a gift certificate. I can even print that for you here and within a few days I usually have that over to you. Um, it can be personalized, we can work on what that certificate should say and um, that makes a great gift too and then four to six weeks later um, you will get to hand over another gift when the actual artwork arrives. So maybe you love my work, but you just can't find the, the right piece or you have a, a scene in mind that just means the world to you, but I just haven't photographed it yet. I do commission artworks. So if you have a specific um, spot in mind, uh, something that's really um, meaningful to you, oftentimes for people that is um, the spot where they get engaged, for example, my wife and I, um, we have in our bedroom hanging a, a, a beautiful panorama of the mountain that we got engaged on. So um, I do those types of commissioned artworks where you basically hire me to um, shoot that scene for you um, and create a, a beautiful piece of art just like I would with any of my other images. If that is something that you're interested in, um, those, are, those are individual projects. You can reach out to me at Lars at Lars Kissing Fine Art, email address right here. And I would love to help you with that. I think that's super special and, and an awesome way to, to really personalize and celebrate your space. So most of my artworks are limited editions. Um, a few of them li limited editions of 50, most of them 99. I have a few open editions, but most of my artworks are runs of 99, which means only 99. Um, artworks of that specific image will ever be produced. Um, there's other photographers who call themselves limited edition artists and then they do runs of hundreds and hundreds of images and that just kind of diminishes the, the quality and the, and the worth of the, of the individual artwork. That's why I've decided to cap it at 99 uh, strictly so that you can rest assured that you have something really rare and really special hanging in your home. Um, each of my artworks comes with what's called a Certificate of Authenticity. Um, so it's a certificate that has the name of the artwork and a little bit more information. And what it also has is a, is a unique holographic sticker um, that mirrors the one that you will find on the back of your artwork. Those stickers have individual numbers on them and that will um, ensure you that you have an original um, and that it's, a, and that it's a, a limited edition piece with that unique number that only that print will ever have. And um, all my images are on the front of the, of the print. They're signed um, by me, by hand, and uh, they also have the edition number. All right, this is the fun one. Um, I have helped dozens of people from around the world actually trying to find the right artwork that fits their personality and fits their space. Um, I offer um, free art consultations that are no obligation to you whatsoever where we can either come into my online gallery or um, you can um, schedule it on my website and we can do it via Zoom if you're not in the greater Seattle area. And I will kind of talk you through um, some of the considerations for, for um, choosing the right art for your space. Um, before you think about size or frames or whatever, you first need to fall in love with an image. Um, if you don't fall in love with it, you're not going to want to look at it um, for a long time. And again, I don't want to just sell you, sell you decor. Like, you're not, like when you're coming into my gallery, you're not walking into, um, I don't know, Home Depot or um, Michael's or uh, whatever store where you can buy run-off-the-mill um, 
cheap artworks. This is, these pieces are designed to last and they are designed to make you fall in love with them and stay in love with them for the rest of your life um, if you so choose. And so um, I want to make sure that um, we talk this through. Um, usually you've, you've already made that first step and you've seen something that you really like and then we can move right on to to figuring out size and finish and everything, but maybe you're you're still on the fence. Um, maybe you need a little bit of help. Long story short, I have worked with a lot of people um, who hadn't made up their mind yet on what the right artwork is. Um, I'm always happy to make suggestions. I never take your no personally. So if I send you something and you tell me no, this is not quite right, then that's okay. We move on and either we find you something else or maybe you find something something someplace else other than here and that's okay too. Again, I'm in the business of helping you um, find the perfect piece of art, something that you really love. I'm not just trying to make a quick quick buck here. So um, I really hope that um, I get to help you find your artwork soon and um, I look forward to talking to you.